2016 Powtoon tutorial. I'll be going over how to log in um, and how to use the whole entire system just briefly and all the different features. So first you go to powtoon.com, P-O-W-T-O-O-N.com. You get to this screen right here, you just click on log in. And I don't even create an account, so I'm just going to log in with my Google account. So there I go. And then after I log in, I'm going to skip that. Uh, this is the dashboard with all of the different Powtoons that you've created in the past. So I'm just going to click on Create to create a new one. And right here we have ready-made templates. So you can start from scratch. So that's completely blank. Or you can have something that's already there. So I'm just going to click on something that's already there and show you what it looks like as a finished product. So it takes a few seconds to actually load, but it doesn't take too long. So it's kind of funny loading awesomeness. It makes you smile the first time that you see it. And then from there, it's, uh, it's just the program. It's just Powtoon. So this takes a, a few seconds, but um, it's not too bad. So everything is done. All the editing is done on the Powtoon website, and then you'll be able to export it. I think as a PDF and then you'll be able to push it out to YouTube and some Vimeo and maybe a few others. Uh, we'll see what the export looks like once we get there. So this is what everything looks like um, right from the start. So you have your slides off to the left, very universal. So we have a total of 12 slides. I'll move that over a little bit. If you want to add a slide, you just click on this plus and now you have a new slide, so slide two. If you want it to play current slide to see what it looks like, you just click on this little play here. And it'll play just that current slide. If you want to play from wherever you're at, you just click play and continue. So right here, slide one. These are all of the different objects on that slide. And right now, um, there's an update, so there's simple mode and there's customizable mode. So if you just want to basically add things in and it sort of like does everything for you, just use the simple mode. I'm going to go over the customize mode. So to change modes, I'm going to click on that, moves the little dot over, and now I actually have a lot more um, capabilities. So right here, I'm going to click on this, plain text. You can see, remember how I've been. Um, and then it shows a timeline here. So this slide right here, slide one, will take five seconds total. So in that five seconds, this object will appear at about half a second. It'll fade in. And then it'll, uh, it'll be in the slide for up to two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, all the way to the end of the slide. So if I wanted to change that and I wanted it to fade out or come in a little bit early, let's say I wanted to come in a half a second, I would just drag that over and then I would drag this over. So at four seconds now, this is going to come out. So this little red triangle shows you where in the slide you actually are and what is appearing. So remember how I've been and then up top, Remember how I've been will come out right now. See? So if I wanted to change that again, I could just drag that. So now remember how I've been will come out at three and a half seconds. So clicking on that again, uh, you can see it's text. You can see it's highlighted once you click on it down here. And then these appear in the order that they are put in. Right here, this little thing right here, this will do the transition in. So if I click on it, this will do, do I want to fade in? Do I want to pop in? Do I want it to come from the top down or from the bottom up, left and right, and so on. So let's say I want it to come from bottom up. I would click on that. And then over here, this is something else. There used to be a hand option. Hand option is still there, it's just over here. So when it comes from the bottom up, yeah, I'll show you. Comes from the bottom up. Um, there's this little hand. Do I want the hand to move it from the bottom up? I'll just click on that. And now the hand moves it up. So it's just another, uh, another thing that you can mess with when you're uh, creating these different slides. 
So and then here you got some plain text and lots of different options. All of these things, eight things, come in at a second and a half. So if I would change this, let's say let's that star, move that over. Now I have seven things that come in at a second, second, and then the star comes in at a second and a half. So and then right there is the little star. So it just makes it a little bit nicer before it was all the different things down at the bottom. If I wanted to add more seconds to this slide, I would just click on the little plus here. So I have six seconds, seven seconds. It can go all the way up to 20 seconds. And then there's the sound on, sound off, or sound manager. So I click on the sound manager. And this is where you can do voiceover from a file record it, music track, background stuff, and so on. Alright, if I wanted to add things to a slide, so let's go to the blank slide that we have, there's nothing here. I would click over here, so right now layout is the first thing. What type of layout do I want? And then the next one is text, or backgrounds. Do I want some type of background? So animated backgrounds. And then text, so... Uh, we'll add this right here. And then you just double click. And start typing. So, blah. In the library, this is the next one down. You can add maybe a computer screen or the web or something with money. So all of these little icons are available for you. There's objects, arrows, so more arrows. So I want something like this. Graphs, if you want a graph, you just drag it over there. Sound. Um, this is a nice upgrade to Powtoon. Now you can do voiceover per slide versus voiceover for the whole entire thing. So soundtrack is right here, professional voiceover right there, and then we have record. You can also upload something if you want. And then images, if you want to add your own images, you would upload an image here. So that pretty much takes care of this, takes care of this. Uh, over here where the actual slides are, again, to add a slide, you can click on the plus, to delete a slide, you're going to have the minus here. So select the slide that you want to delete and click on the minus. So right now, this is a movie. We could actually switch it to a slideshow. Um, but we'll get to that in a second. All right, so slide one and slide two, there's a transition in between. So I'm going to click on that. And then this will allow me to pick the different transition. So I click that. Now it's a fan up transition from slide one to slide two. So if I want to change this, swipe. Now oh, I have swipe there. At the top, once you're done, while you're working throughout, you can save it. So my projects, save. And then you can preview it once you're done, see what it looks like. Pause. If I wanted to change it to a slideshow, it pretty much does the same thing except it gives you this autoplay option. So I can do autoplay off, and now it's slide two, and I manually have to click through. Make it full screen. The export, if I click on export, this brings up export options, and you can publish it to my Paltoons or Download it as a PDF, which is nice. Upload it to YouTube, Vistia, or Vimeo, and then share to as a movie or a slideshow. So right here, this is the movie or slideshow thing. If I change this, now it's a slideshow. The only difference is a movie will play automatically all the way through from the first slide to the last slide. A slideshow will play a slide stop play a slide, stop, play a slide, stop. Um, so that's the only difference, but they basically still um, 
do. They do the same thing. So other than that, you just need to make sure you save it, and then um, just make sure you um, upload it to the correct uh, source for people to view it. But it's a great tool, and I uh, hope that was helpful. Thanks.